Hello and welcome Pixels! 25 Games is here and today I want to show you a uncutted quick tip tutorial here. So I, well, I will continue with my Hey Cards tutorial from the, from the last weeks. Um, this was basically an uncut one hour video so far. But now we come to a very important point which should be maybe a separate video. So I'm talking about baking textures. So we have used several tile level textures so far for our hay card model and just to give them a proper resolution of texture. And now we want to bake those texture information to one single texture and so that we can adjust or edit this texture in detail and give them some more and nice details and so that this will be become a nice prop for our game Cortex. This video is recorded with the video editing tool Comteacher 2019 from TechSmith. So I will give you a quick overview of the topics of for this video. So we will start first to tidy up our mesh geometry. So we delete unnecessary geometry so that we just focus on the texture information to spare some texture. The second step will be the UV set. So we will create a new UV set for the, for the unique UV layout. The third step will be to create a new image texture where we want to bake the texture information to and a new material because we don't need the other materials anymore. And the last step is to bake the texture information from the other textures into one single texture and we get the final result of this video. But let's head now to our tutorial. Alright guys, I started Blender 2.8 here. This is the current and actual version of Blender 2.8. It's still not released so far. So this is just the published version they want to release. So first of all, we have here the version where we stopped the last time of our uncut video tutorial series. Um, so we have still them. I combined the wheels so far. So we have still the modifiers here and the first part is um, when we think about a unique UV layout, which part can be removed so that we spare some UV space and then we can scale our textures a little bit bigger. So we have more texture space for our UV islands and for sure we have four wheels here but I just want to mo uh, texture one wheel and then I will duplicate this wheel texture information to all the others. So important is I will just remove those modifiers because we just want to bake one texture information of this UV islands here. So this is this is fine so far. As well this one here uh, I have already removed the modifiers for this object as well. This is already uh, merged but we have still here one modifier. I will remove this as well because this will be duplicated and this part here as well. Remove it. And I think this part is as well duplicated, so remove this. And now we should have one object which could be baked. And this is what we want. Um, just for information, um, it is only possible to merge all objects into one single object and then you can bake all the UVs to one texture. I have to do this um, sadly and this is as well a little bit bad because we will lose the origin points of our single objects. We will lose um, the abil ability to use a modifier. So we have to merge all single objects to one object, then bake the texture and then separate the single objects again and set the origin. This is a little bit um, unhandy, I know, but this is the only way to bake a texture. So select everything 
and press Ctrl J for merge everything and to get one single object. So you see this here as well. There's one single object. Um, and very important is now to create a second UV space because currently our UV space is pretty everywhere. <laughs> our UV islands are everywhere and we need to find every part of those now in one single place. So this is getting a unique texture. And the UV layouts, or you can create several UV layouts so far. So this is the UV layout for our seamless textures. And we need to create now a UV layout for a unique texture. So go here to this tab here, context, and select UV maps. There you find the current name or the current um, um, selected UV map uh, of your object. And you can create here a second map. And this second map we will call baked UVs. Enter. And important is as well that the active render is still on the UV map. So you taking the texture information of those uh, UVs. Okay, now we have two separate, uh, two separate UV layouts and you can press here again on grab and got and you will get immediately and perfectly layouted UV um, idea from, from Blender. You can still go here under UVs and then pack airlines and then you will get another version of this. This will give you some real, more realistic um, layout for the UVs. And you can as well change something here. So you, uh, you see you have now our unfolded, uh, our seamless textures. So we have still our seamless UV layout here and here our unique UV layout. And maybe there are some parts which should be bigger or smaller. You can change this here as well. I will give this now a short time lapse so that it don't lose too much time. Alright guys, um, I did some rearrangement of the UVs so far and you see that I placed some elements here on the bottom part here and I brought as well a an, an, an new UV unfold for the wheel elements and I brought them to this element uh, to this position here because maybe I want to add some more details later um, and add some hay elements to this ca hay cart here and um, I know that the UVs or the texture is looking basically pretty wrong because we place the UVs now in that such a small way and now everything is looking bad but if you switch back here to our original UV map then everything is correct again. But we need this new arrangement so that we can bake this to a one unique texture. And we will do this now and this is a little bit tricky here in Blender 2.8 and I haven't found an, an, an other way to do this. I was a little bit confused um, when I started this today because it wasn't working then the last time. So it was pretty confusing and didn't find anything in the internet so far. So um, very important is that we create a new texture where we bake this texture information too. So, and this will be as well a one material where this texture information belongs to. So we have currently, we have currently three different materials. The one is the wood bear, the iron one and the blankets material. And those three materials will 
should be baked now to one single material and texture. Uh, what is the texture information is baked to a texture and the material belongs to and the texture belongs to the material. So um, this was pretty complicated. So we have now our our um, shader editor here in the left bottom side here. And I will create now a new material and I call this mat um hey card unique. But I will not assign this material to my object right now because we need the single materials for the baking process. So I just create this material and I will delete this shader and create again the diffuse BSDF shader and I will create here the image texture and we we need now a new image texture and you can probably create this here or in this sphere um, in this shader editor here um, by just I just press X here to delete my current selected uh, image texture and I will create new and this should be and I will call this chapter one prop a card diff and the resolution should be currently 4k because I just want to have a, a high resolution baking map but you can choose a different resolution as well 2k 1k whatever so 4096 4096 and press OK. So now we have this 4K texture here and I want to select this here as well because this will be our new texture which should be baked. And now we come to the part which was a little bit confusing to me because I just can't say why we have to do this. I was baking the texture again and again and I got wrong results, so this is important. We need to go now to the single materials and create this baking node as well. Create the image texture and select the Haycut Diffuse map. As well here. And as well here. So we have created now the image node to all of our materials and our and our new material. And now we have our new UV layout, we have our new texture, our new materials. And we have to go to the rendering option tab now. So go here to scene and currently we don't can bake a texture in the EV rendering process. We need to switch here to cycles. And under cycles you have here the bake option and the bake option is that what we wanna. Just open this up and we have here the bake type and select diffuse because I just want to bake the diffuse um, the diffuse information. We can as well you um, bake several of those, but we want just the diffuse in this video. We just have one object, so we don't have to select any others. So before you hit bake, please note that you have to deselect or disable direct and indirect light information because we just want to have the color information and this is the reason why this baking baked texture is now wrong and <laughs> I don't want that you do this again. So if you deselect those two types then you can hit bake and then you will just bake your texture without light information and you will yeah get a better result than what I get here currently. So okay, let's hit B. 
贝。Alright, guys. This took about two minutes, I guess. But <clears throat> you get the result now, and there's no light information currently. And we got our textures, which are now baked to our new, to our created image here. And the the rendering process, the duration of the time depends on how the resolution of your texture is. So I. It took now 4K, so this took much more longer to bake than when we take 1K texture. This is pretty fast. Yeah, but this is actually the 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 whole process of baking a single texture or uh, multiple textures to one single texture, and you can see as well here two different um, <laughs> UV maps. And now this is wrong. Um, you can basically delete this this one now and we have one UV map you have one single material you can as well go now here um, set assign this material to this object and just delete the others because we don't need them anymore and now it's time to uh, to paint some details to the object but this content will be presented to you in the next video tutorial next week thank you very much for watching this video tutorial i hope you like it if you have any feedback or if you find any other solutions to bake textures in blender 2.8 then write this to the comments below if you like this video just give us a like subscribe to our youtube channel watch our other videos and have a nice day cheers